Pastor Eli Lietzow here at Wheat Ridge Evangelical Lutheran Church closing up the study of the Ten Commandments with commandments number 9 and 10. You shall not covet your neighbor's house. You shall not covet your neighbor's wife or his manservant or his maidservant or his ox or donkey or anything that belongs to your neighbor. What does this mean? It means that we should, not, we should fear and love God so that we do not scheme to get our neighbor's inheritance or house or get it in only a way that appears right, but we should be of service to him in keeping it. And we should fear and love God so that we do not force or entice away our neighbor's wife, his workers, his animals, or turn them against him, but encourage them to stay and do their duty. All right, so how is it that we're breaking this commandment? How is it, or, or what is the good gift that our Lord has given here? And, and what is the good over and against the evil? What's the evil that we're so uh, inclined to do? And I think we break this commandment uh, one of two ways, and we break it pretty easily. One is we look at our neighbor and we say he is, does not deserve the gifts that our Lord has given to him. And then, of course, we look inward and we look to ourselves and we say, well, we certainly deserve more than what God has given to us. And so then we're look, looking at God not as a good gift giver, not as a heavenly father who knows the gifts that he desires to give and wants to give and needs to give to his children, but instead we just see him as a magic genie. And he's obviously given too much over there and he's not given enough over here. So in breaking this commandment, uh, the things uh, of, of good versus evil, the things of life over and against the, the things of death, uh, we can see how we are and we put ourselves in breaking this commandment uh, just like Adam and Eve, our first parents in the garden there, because they coveted that which they did not have. They wanted to place themselves on the same pedestal as God because God had uh, said, do not eat of this. It is not given to you. And they said, no, 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 that's exactly what I want then. God, you don't know good enough. You don't know what I need. I know better than you, and I'm going to have that. Well, we all know how that turned out. It turned out of the things of death. It turned out to be death, right? To know evil in this finite fallen uh, flesh of ours uh, is to know death. That's never a good thing. And so we can see actually in, in this coveting, in this uh, coveting that which our neighbor has and not actually praising God and giving thanks for the good things that he has given to us, we can see how this indeed is, is evil in and of itself because we're despising the good gifts that God is, uh, that God gives. We're despising God as the good gift giver and we're actually wanting to place ourselves on the pedestal with God. We want to be God. And then we can see how in this commandment, as with all the other ones too, if we break these, we break the first. We're fallen creatures. But thanks be to God, we're fallen creatures whom Christ has died for because God knows what we need to support this body and life. But more than that, he knows what we need for our salvation because just like Adam and Eve, we are in death. We are of evil. But he's the God of life and the God of good. And he saves us because of that, despite are evil. Thanks be to God for that. Did we do good? Is that is that okay? If, if you liked that, hit the button that says that you like that. Maybe even subscribe to see more of these. Even give. Help us fund this mission of making known the gifts of Christ Jesus to youth and young adults. If you like this video, check out our website, higherthings.org, and check out more content from Higher Things.